The MT5 Portfolio Tester lets you easily analyze your strategy and evaluate your portfolio. You'll be able to automate your testing across multiple EAs, symbols, and timeframes, and find the most profitable combinations without having to initiate the tests yourself in MT5. The workflow of the Portfolio Tester is split into four main parts. First, in the MT5 folder section, you select the location of your MT5 installation folder and specify whether you're running MT5 in portable mode or not. Then, in the Test Settings section, you set the backtesting settings for your test runs, such as the start and end date for the test period. You're also able to set the modeling, delay, and leverage settings, which all match the options in MT5's built-in trading strategy tester. Next, in the Test Runs section, you set the EAs you'd like to test, their presets, and the symbols and timeframes you want to test for. You can define as many tests as you'd like before finally clicking Run Test. Let's start an example project and walk through the steps to run some tests. First, the MT5 folder has to be set to the location of your MT5 installation folder. The portable mode checkbox should be checked in the case that you're running MT5 in portable mode. Next, in the test settings section, you set the start and end date for the test period with a convenient calendar. The modeling defines the granularity of the backtest. There are different options available which match the options in MetaTrader. The delay is the latency between sending an order and the actual placement of the order. The deposit defines the starting account size, and the leverage defines the leverage used for the backtest. All of these options match those in MetaTrader as well. The output folder defines the location where the overall test results will be saved. The CSV file name sets the name of the output CSV file. If copy HTML reports is enabled, then the HTML reports generated by MT5 for every individual test run will be saved to the same folder as the results file. If enabled, the delete tick data after test checkbox will ensure that all tick data will be deleted when a test is completed if hard drive space is an issue or if you don't want to save the tick data. Next up, in the test run section, we set up the tests themselves. To set up a test, you select the desired EA and preset. You can also select the default parameters instead of a preset. Next, you select the symbols you'd like to test. You can also click to select or unselect all. Finally, you choose the timeframes you want to test on. Afterwards, you can start the test by hitting Run Test, or you can continue to add as many more tests as you'd like. We'll add one more test. Session Trader EA without the filter. Next, we'll save our project and call it Session Trader Test. And finally, click Run Test. With our tests complete, we can now see the results of all of our individual test runs and we can see which combination of preset, symbol, and time frame worked best for our EA. For both of the chosen presets, the EA worked very well with DDU on the 12 minute time frame, but it performed best without the filter, where the profit factor was higher. You're also able to see a quick summary of the total PNL and average profit factor and drawdown for the whole portfolio. The results for every individual test run are saved to the CSV file in your output folder. If you chose to copy MT5's HTML reports, they'll be found in this folder as well. In the output CSV, we can see the results for every test run. We can view their parameters and performance metrics like PNL, drawdown, profit factor, and trades taken. Thank you so much for watching and for being a part of our community of traders.